Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Kay's Cooking and Vlogs. Today on my menu, I'll be making escovitch fish. Right into it. Now I'm washing my fish, cleaning it all up with some vinegar and water. Making sure all the scales are off. I don't really measure the vinegar, just pour a little with water. Now that all the scales are off the fish, I'm going to put like two slices in each side of the fish so when I'm seasoning the season could go in between those slices. Now that I'm finished um, washing and slicing my fishes, I'll take them out of the water. Then I'm gonna use paper towel to dry them, that when I'm seasoning and frying, there's not much water in the fish. Now that I've finished drying my fishes, I'm gonna mix my powder season together and season them one by one. So the powder ingredients I'll be using are black pepper, garlic powder, adobo, Maggie fish seasoning, cayenne pepper, a little lorries, and accent. I'm gonna mix them all together and then I apply it on the fishes. So now, as I'm seasoning my fishes, I apply the seasoning on both sides and I try to get the seasoning in between those slices. I put a little in the inside also. Now that I've finished seasoning my fishes, I'm going to put the oil to eat up until it's hot. And also I had some cloves of garlic while frying. I'm using canola oil. So now the oil is hot, I put the first set in but I forgot to record it. But I did record when I put the next set in, so just watch as I go along. So 
So after I put in the fish in the hot oil, I turn it on medium so it could fry thoroughly and not get burnt. So when one side is fried, like for like two to three minutes, I turn it to the other side and let the other side fry. Could check it from time to time in case it's not crispy as all you want to and turn it again and let it fry a little crispier. In between I clean my oil so you don't have to do that but I do Now that I finished frying the fishes, I'm going to put my oil aside and then I get my onion, carrot, hot pepper all cut up to do my dressing. I didn't record cutting up the carrot and the onions and peppers but here is how it look when it's all cut up. Now I get the pot that I'm going to use to put the vinegar in. I'm going to pour a little vinegar in the pot so that it covers the bottom. Let it boil up. Now that I pour in the vinegar, I'm going to let it boil up and then I put in the carrots because they're a little bit other than the onions. And after I put in the carrots, I turn it, stir it up, turn off the fire. But then I put in my onion and pepper and stir it all up and dress the fishes. So just look as I go along. The reason I do it this way is for it not to get soggy. It's for it to have that crunch. So now it's time I'm dressing the fish. I put the layer at the bottom, then I spread the onion and the carrots over that layer. Then I had another layer and I continue the same step until I finish all the fishes. So here is the finished look of my fried escovitch fish. Like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next video.